Hello and welcome to a video series called A Normal Guy Does Orbital Mechanics. I'm going to go, off, go, go through all of the problems in the book Orbital Mechanics for Engineering Students. Uh, this is just for my learning and documenting my learning process and for anyone else who wants to follow along. I'll try to do one video a week and um, yeah, I'll just get going. So, so you can get the PDF of this book all over the internet, or you can you can buy it off Amazon. Um, yeah, I'll get going on to. It's the fourth edition of this book. I'll get going on to problem one point one. The first one, A, wants us to show that vector A, dot product vector A, is equal to the magnitude of a squared. This one's quite simple. You can follow the um, vector dot product from the book. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do the examples. So a vector a equals a x a x plus a y a y plus a z a z equals a x squared plus a y squared plus a z squared and that and the magnitude of a squared equals the square root of a x squared plus a y squared plus a z squared all of that is squared which equals a x squared plus a y squared plus a z squared. So quite straightforward. This is the uh, formula for the magnitude of a vector. You can look that up. Um, on to part B, the vector a dot product vector b cross product vector c equals a cross product b dot c. So we're going to do the left hand side first. I'm just going to leave a outside of the brackets while I do the cross product, which is b y c z minus b z c y, that is the i component, minus b x c z minus a z c x that is the j component plus b x c y minus b y c x that is the k component now i'm going to do the right hand side c that is a y b z minus a z e y a component minus a x b z minus a z b x that is the j component plus a x b y minus a y b x and that is the k component um, we should be careful with the signs here so I'm actually just going to, yeah, I'm just going to leave like that for now, but um, later on we're going to be careful with the signs. I'm just going to multiply these out with the dot product, and we should get the same on both sides. So left hand side is A, X, B, Y, C, Z, minus A, X, B, Z, C, Y, Minus a y b x c z plus a y b z c x plus a z b x c y minus a z b y c x and then the right hand side is c x a y b z minus c x a z b y minus c y b 
ax bz plus cy az bx plus cz ax dy minus cz ay bx. So let's just match up the pairs here. So what we did there is do the dot product. It's quite, quite straightforward, the same as we did before. Um, so ax here, so we got an ax, positive ax there, so there's a cz, so that's that one. So we've got a negative ax there, there's a bz and a cy, so that's them. Negative ay is over here with a zz and a bx. And then an ay here, which is over here. Okay, that's gone. And then, yeah, this one there, and then that one there. So that's all. That's all done. They're all matching. So that's shown. And then part C wants to. Um, wants us to show that A cross product B cross product C is equal to, sorry, vectors here is equal to B A dot C minus C A dot B, all vectors. Um, we're going to do the we're going to do the left hand side first and we just have to be very careful with the signs here um, but going straight away we need to do the y and the z so um, of this group so it's a y so and the z of this group is well, we know it's basically this over here. So it's BX CY minus BY CX. Uh, and then it is minus um, AZ. And then it's multiplied by the y, but the y is actually negative, so it's actually anything positive there, right? So that's b x c z minus a z c x, and that is our that's our i component, right? And then it's minus and it's going to be our this is our 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 y component so or j component so that means it's going to be our x times our z which is over here right Y minus B Y C X right and then minus our X our Z times our X and our X is up here to B Y C Z minus B Z C Y that's our J component and we add on our K component so that's now going to be 
x and y. So our y is actually negative. So we'll stick a negative in here, right? And then that's going to be bx cz minus a z c x with b z c x minus is that y times our x which is b y c z minus b z c y So that's, that's our left hand side, more or less. We could multiply these out, but I don't think it's necessary. And then on our right hand side, we have the dot product first. So we'll just put a y under that. And um, we will start with saying it is b times ax cx plus ay cy plus az cz minus c times ax dx plus ay dy plus az dz. These are the vector times scalar, so we'll just do them out each, so that becomes ax, bx, ax, cx, plus, and in keeping with the way this is done, you want to keep them as back cab um, format, so I'll try to do that, so bx, ax, cx, and then yeah, it's a uh, b x a y c y plus b x a z c z minus c x a x d x minus c x a y c y minus c x a z d z and that's that's i right. Let's confirm I is actually, so one, some of these cancel out, sorry, sorry. So BX, BX, sorry, um, which one cancel out BX, CX. <laughs> Pretty sure it's, yeah, bx, ax, cx, which is this first one. That goes away, that goes away. And we're just left with four components. And if we look, we see bx, ay, cy, bx, ay, cy, and then bx, az, cz, bx, az, cz, and then these two are the other two. So i matches up so far. That's good. Now we'll do the other one, which is B, um, Y, A, X, C, X, plus B, Y, A, Y, C, Y, plus B, Z, A, Z, C, Z, minus C, Y, A, X, D, X, minus C, Y, A, Y, D, Y, minus C, Y, a z d z that's our j component and in here this one cancels out with this one and then if we just check our j so we have y x x sorry b y a x c x and then we should say that we have a this is negative here so 
that's negative there, and that's positive there. So that becomes dy, and then this is, well, this becomes dy. This one becomes positive eventually with that, so that's correct. And then the bz, az, zz is bz, all z's. Z, Z, Z. Sorry, B Y there. So B so that's that one there. That's correct. And then the negative C Y is there. It's here. C Y B X A X. Yeah, that's negative. And then this one is minus C Y. Yep, A Z B Z. So that's all good. They're all matching up. We expect the next one will as well. B Z A X C X plus B Z A Y C Y plus B Z A Z C Z minus C Z A X B X minus C Z a Y B Y minus Z Z A Z B Z that's K. Let's check it out. So a B Z so that's gonna be positive. And then C X A X that's good. And then our B Z um A Y C Y C Z Y, C, Y, yeah, and that can the negative cancels, that's correct. But we, we can also remove this, right? And then our C, Z, and negative C, Z, and then our A, X, and B, X is there, and then our negative C, Z, C, Y, and A, Y is there. So that's all, that's all sorted out, that's all correct. Uh, let's see, there's a few things to comment on, maybe. Yeah, these should always be in alphabetical order on the first term. Um, I don't know how many times I made mistakes just with my signs here and doing this out. But that is question 1.1, 1. 1, A, B and C. Thank you.